Okay, you beautiful bronies and sisters, welcome back to the back of the semi-truck, and it is a Monday evening for me, and after the weekend, I get to wake up to the fact that the last episode that we watched was blocked, and that's okay, because I guess somebody over at Netflix, surprisingly, it wasn't Hasbro this time around, granted, yes, I guess Netflix technically owns the distribution rights, so that's why we're getting blocks and copyright claims from Netflix as opposed to Hasbro, but either way, I guess they didn't like the fact that I wasn't necessarily thrilled about the last episode. So every other episode was blocked. Granted, episode four did take me three uploads to actually get it uploaded, but you know, it is what it is. And I did have a little bit of trouble with episode five, but at the same time, episode five had two manual reviews done to it before it got blocked. So the other ones were just automatic stuff. It happens, I get it, you know, it's just something that, you know, reactors have to deal with here on YouTube. But the, <laughs> the other two, granted, I'd cut, like, that's why I always give myself a little extra leeway, a couple seconds here and there, so I could kind of go in, cut a couple seconds of dead air out, and it just, I, I guess it just did not work this time. They just, I guess they don't like the fact that I didn't like the last episode, but you know what, hey. Who cares? I was told that that last episode was the worst of the eight that we got. So, well, that we got so far, I should say. Because, of course, they dropped eight episodes for Chapter 2. And, I don't know. We're going to find out, though. So, this is about, like, the unicorn sleepover official something something. I don't remember the title, but it is what it is. So... Go ahead and play that intro so we can jump into this. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Okay, starting out with Sparky eating a flower. And I got a feeling that Sparky's actually pretty important because the last episode out of the you know first eight that we got here is called like has anyone seen this dragon Sparky, slow. oh it's just misty although i like that little shadowy misty look see she has something written on her cutie mark the traditional unicorn sleepover okay cool beans Oh, oh, Sparky. He's probably just excited to see some tea. <laughs> oh, gosh, I just realized that Misty is not going to understand anything about unicorn culture. Wow, so that was pretty easy for you to get into the Crystal Bright house, huh? <laughs> oh, Misty. Okay, so, Sonny, you're not going to recognize Misty from the one episode where she was part of the four people? Misty Bright Dawn, that is a good last name. <laughs> okay. Robert Downey Pip. Okay, I know this has absolutely nothing to do with where we are in the episode, but I have a feeling that the cutie mark that I'm seeing is something that's just an illusion because she doesn't want to be found out that she's a blank blank by all the rest of the ponies in town when she's in town. Just a theory, though, so I have no idea right now. You are so funny. So that's what y'all are calling it, the hitch, ugh, the hitch switch. Okay, zip. You really, hmm. Okay, Misty, your turn. 
I'll just sing the song by myself later. No, 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 no of course not. <laughs> okay. Oh, better, Misty. Oh, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. I thought she Don't was gonna sure. scold her for laughing, but okay, she's got a better evil laugh all of a sudden. You don't have a cutie mark. That's why it's not working. That's one tradition we do here too. Mm -hmm. This is the I like that moment because it shows that everyone has something in common with traditions and stuff. of a feather flock together. Okay, but what about Twilight? So Twilight far as they could with their crystals. Didn't unify everyone? I mean, that just doesn't make sense. And that's where they live. Oh! Yes, it is. We pieced together the crystal part ourselves. Literally. Who wasn't a pony? Now we get Opaline's side. Her magic was too powerful. That's the true version. Who told you that? I bet somewhere in the middle is with the truth. Oh, Izzy's gonna be upset with <laughs> Zip. Do you wanna know the truth, Zip? My first real sleepover in Maritime Bay. That means failure. <laughs> Party is over. Oh, then I'm gonna have to get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us everything. See, there's Even friendship the right there. Into the next day. Well, I miss the Jinxie Dance's horseshoe game spark. Learning how to hold my breath for long stretches so we can excitedly <laughs> play long Oh breath. gosh, this is endearing <laughs> of Izzy right here. So is Hitch around, or what's Hitch doing? I know he's messing with Sparky and trying to get him in a habit, but still. I did all of this just as I was talking. Well, to be fair, <laughs> you had a lot to say. Oh, this is yep. a pretty impressive unicorn. You have a bit of a unicorn in you, after all. <gasps> hey, Misty! That seemed like a very devious little smile from her. Hey, I feel like Misty should be telling them the truth, but I don't see her doing it. Okay, Misty, tell me that you're going to actually not betray them. Did you have fun with these puny? Yes. No, no, of course not. She did. Strategic hoof reading. Gathering intel. Level Opaline. Promise. Hmm. Okay. Um, that. Zip, I was about to say Pip, but Zip, only hearing that last part, of course, only hears the last part because that's how conflict is started. So now we got Zip, only hearing that last part, not understanding that. Misty did have a lot of fun over at the sleepover and all that good stuff, and uh, unfortunately, I wish Misty would have told them the truth, but of course, then that would just be like, okay, if Misty tells the truth now, then that kind of ruins the next two episodes, and somehow, my little background back there is gone to a commercial, so there we go. Hopefully, that solves that. Um... <laughs> Either way, though, as I was saying, I want Misty to tell the truth, but at the same time, that, of course, creates less conflict for the next two episodes. And I really feel like this episode is kind of something that helps drive along what could be, you know, something good for G5 and Make Your Mark. This is what Make Your Mark could be if they would just focus on story as opposed to, you know, just creating an episode like they did last time. Because this, I feel like, this was one of their best episodes so far. Granted, this is only episode, what is it, five for me that I'm watching? Maybe it's episode six. I'm not 100% sure at this point. Granted, hopefully I'll have everything correct in the title and thumbnail, but th this really does feel like this is an episode that lays groundwork for what everything could be. Um, 
And what I mean by that is it shows us the relationship that the, well, I was going to say main five, but it shows us the relationship that at least four of the main five actually have, but uh, let me find the right words here. It shows the relationship that they have and the love that they have for one another because even with their differences, such as, okay, I grew up in Bridalwood and we have all these customs that I love and this and that and, you know, then you got the Earth, Earth Ponies and then you got the Pegasi, but then you get that one moment in there where it's like, oh, we tell, you know, this is an Earth, you know, this is... This is a tradition here as well from Sunny, you know. So it kind of shows that thing where, you know, there's always something that binds us all together and we can all relate to each other in one way or another. I guess is it's a terrible way of saying it, but it show it's there's also one point in there where I feel like their friendship is like, you know what? You're going to sit here and talk for a long, 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 long time. But you know what? We can tell you're hurting and you're missing your hometown. So we're going to be your friends and we're going to sit here and we're going to listen. And I felt like that really showed what kind of friendship they do have. Granted, yes, from the movie till now, I don't feel... I don't feel like we've had enough of, you know, interaction and growth between them all, but at least you can kind of get that feeling of friendship from them. So, yeah, um, then on top of that, it's, it's kind of playing out exactly how I thought it would with Misty. Granted, I think I figured out that whole cutie mark thing. I think what I'm seeing is something that they kind of just put on her so that she didn't stand out too much and that she would, you know fit in a little bit more than being this oddball of a blank flank pretty much the same age as everyone else so cause that would definitely raise some questions of hey why don't you have your cutie mark yet and stuff like that um so I do got a feeling that she's starting to feel the friendship from them she's starting to feel the welcomeness she's feeling the hey you know what just because I'm this, and I grew up this way, doesn't mean y'all aren't welcoming me into the fold either. So I feel like she's enjoying herself. She's growing to have friends and all this stuff. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like she's going to do exactly what I said. She's going to enjoy being there. Then she's going to be like, hey guys, this is what, you know. What's old? Okay, let me see if I can get things in my head. Because honestly, y'all, I drink too many of these a day, and sometimes my mind runs 15 miles an hour, and I can't my my words get tongue tied. So yeah, let me slow down for a second and just be like, okay, here's what I see happening with Misty. For the most part, is the simple fact that Misty is going to end up telling them the truth and there's going to be conflict like oh blah 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 I heard you talking about the secret top secret intel and this and that and that's what Zip's going to say and it's just going to be all a bunch of conflict that's going to be resolved in about 15 minutes and she's ultimately I think she's going to turn on Opaline but what I want <laughs> what I want is for Opaline to end it. Wow, what was that outside? That did not sound like a vehicle. That sounded like something that was dying. Okay, either way, that got me distracted. Um, it sounded like a motorcycle that just went kaput. So, um, <laughs> I've got to stop getting distracted. But what I want is Opaline to get Misty. I want, pretty much in a nutshell, I want Misty to turn her back on Opaline, but not in the way that everyone's thinking she will. Granted, y'all have already seen up to episode 8, and I'm right here stuck at this episode. But what I want is Misty to turn on Opaline and take all the magic for herself and leave Opaline in the Shadow Realm area that she's kind of in. And be like, you know what, you've put me down all my life. And I'm not taking it no more. You're going to be stuck there. I'm going to have all this power over here. 
and what are you going to do about it type deal. So, or maybe there's just a twist to everything. And Opaline is actually Twilight. So, I know that's not going to happen. But, come on. That would be awesome. But, you know what? I've got a lot of wishes that aren't going to come to fruition. So, yeah. I guess with that said, I'm passing it off to y'all. It's already been however long it's been. And it's a Monday night for me. So... Yeah, so I guess pass it off to y'all. Y'all know the drill by now. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. Hopefully this doesn't get blocked like the last episode. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.